Hey everybody, how's it going today? Justin, the Red Island Shaver, coming back at you with another version of Outside the Den, the weekly informal talk about a soap or a product or an artisan. I'm sitting here in my kitchen in Cornwall, Prince Edward Island, Canada. As always, have the cup of coffee. Pretty good coffee. And, you know, just kind of shoot the breeze. So for this week, I'm going to take a run to product I haven't used in a while. Um, it's a product that I think a lot of us kind of hold near and dear. It's something a lot of us um, probably would start out with. Um, it's usually readily available. At least I know here in Canada it is, or a couple of the variants of it are. And that is Paraso. So this week we are going to be using the Paraso Red. So this is... Just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous sandalwood. It's a very strong sandalwood. Um, and this is the formula for coarse beards. Um, they have a few different formulations, as you know. Um, the Paraso Green, which is one that a lot of people are very familiar with, is the Eucalyptus and Menthol. Um, I think that is, from the best of my knowledge, that is your kind of average go-to cream or soap. Um, the white is for sensitive skin. The blue, I'm not 100% sure on what the blue is geared towards. That might be another kind of run-of-the-mill scent. And uh, the, But the red is formulated for coarse beards. I do have a coarse beard, and this one usually performs quite well. Um, out of all the scents, I think this one is my favorite. And um, green would be the second one. Blue was okay for my liking. White, I'm not a fan of at all. I just, I don't like the scent. But all in all, me personally, I think these are great products. Good entry level price. Like I said, readily, readily available, at least here in Canada. Um, you can go to Shoppers Drug Mart, uh, which is just a chain pharmacy. Slash kind of everything kind of store and I know on the shelves here they have the green and the cream and the soap um, they have the white in the soap I'm not sure about the cream and they have the white and the green uh, pre-shave they only had the they only had the white pre-shave but now they have the green so I may pick up some of that because the, the white, like I said, it, it's a good pre-shave. I'm still not crazy on the scent. And it, and the thing about the pre-shaves is they smell like they're accompanying software. So if you get the green, it, it, it's going to smell like the green soap or the cream. And uh, if you get the red, it's going to smell like the sandalwood. This is also available in the cream form as well. Um... I don't know. I'm torn. The The cream, they, they don't last as long as the soaps. The soaps do have really good longevity, which is nice. They're easy to lather. Are they the slickest soaps in the world? No. But do they perform well? At least for me, yes. Um, Parasso is a staple in Italy. And uh, I'm sure it's a staple in a lot of people's dens. It's a, Like I said, it's a soap that I really enjoy. Um... I mean, the sandalwood is just a beautiful sandalwood. And I do have the matching splash that goes with this. I have the green splash and I have the red splash. And the red aftershave splash is just phenomenal. All in all, for my opinion, a very good product. So, I'm always upfront and honest. I will say that the shave has been pre-recorded. I did it yesterday. Uh, my vision was really good yesterday. So, I wanted to... To, to crack a shave out for the weekend so the weekend shave is already pre-recorded it's edited it's ready to upload on the weekend and um, and my more final thoughts on this soap will be in that um, I did kind of mess up the lather a little bit <clears throat> even though my eyes were pretty good they're still not perfect but this being a soap it's easily rectified which I was able to do all in all, um, for me, this gives a great shave. And um, 
like I said, for the price, it can't be beat. Now, I do know they have some new scents. I would love to try them out. Um, I'll have to look at some online retailers and see if they have them. They do have a couple of the new scents here, but they're the Beard Bomb. They don't actually have the software. And um, I think there's Cypress and Vetiver. And there's another one that I just can't quite think of, but I definitely might have to look into them. Uh, Parasso is just... Just one of those products. Everybody knows it. Everybody loves it. For the most part, I do believe that that, that likes it. It's uh, it's just one of those things. But all in all, great product, great company, a lot of history, and really enjoy getting this stuff out for a spin. And that's about all I have for this week. Like I said just a quick little video, just an informal chat, a little bit of information. Um, you know, kind of get you guys excited for the weekend shave. I know I was, I was very happy to, to bust this product out again. Always get a good result with it. And that's it. So thanks again for watching everybody. I do appreciate it. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for staying with the channel and staying with me during these, uh, these times and uh, the daily struggles. I really do appreciate it. And thanks to uh, all the non-subscribers that actually uh, watch these videos. I, I know you're out there. I know you guys are watching them and I really do appreciate it. So that's it for me. As always, friends, have a great day and even better shave. And we will catch you in the weekend shave review of Parasso Sandalwood. Bye.